Have you decided about Halloween yet? My Glenda costume's almost done, and well, Beverly's over the moon about being Dorothy. But we still need a tin man. Carolyn, come look. Isn't that the brightest star you've ever seen? Gosh, that is bright. Like a firework. What star is it? I don't know. But I'm sure gonna find out. I've never seen a star so big and bright and orange before. Imagine what it would be like to be up there where no one has ever been before. I want to be the first girl to ever go to outer space. I think that star is good luck. Huh. So make a wish, little stargazer. Look at that. I read in Collier's Magazine that scientists are building rockets to bring people all the way to outer space. I don't know, Mary Ellen. The furthest I've ever been from home is my grandma's house, and that's really far. Where did you get this book anyway? From the library. Davy, I saw the brightest star I've ever seen last night, and I thought the book would help me find out what it's called. Sorry about that. Jimmy throws a wild curveball. <laughs> Show off. Gee, Mary Ellen, I didn't know you could throw like that. Ring, ring, ring. Come on, we don't want to be late for Mrs. Humphrey's class. <laughs> Overall, I'm very pleased with your quizzes. It does seem like some of you are still struggling with the concept of gravity. But don't worry, it is a force to be reckoned with. Very nice, Mary Ellen. Save it for art class. Now, class, I've got some very exciting news for you all. This Friday, Dr. Anderson Teller is going to be visiting our school. Dr. Teller is helping to develop a rocket ship that might someday bring humans to outer space. We're having a school-wide contest. Whoever has the best essay on the wonders of space will have the honor of asking Dr. Teller a few questions in front of the whole student body. The interview will be broadcast on the news. This is what I've been dreaming about a chance to meet a real rocket scientist, and I'd get to be on TV. Can two dreams come true at once? I have so many questions for Dr. Teller. What will the rocket look like? And how will we breathe in space? Maybe he knows the name of the star I saw last night. This is so exciting. Hiya, you come into our game later? We're gonna cream those goons from South Street Elementary. Sorry, I'm going home to start my essay. The wonder of space awaits. <laughs> Don't waste your time. There's no way a girl is gonna win that contest. What do you mean, Wayne? Have you ever seen a girl rocket scientist? No. Have you ever seen a girl astronaut? No. And you never will. Girls in space don't mix. Hm. Come on, Jimmy. What a bug. Are you okay, Mary Ellen? They'll see a girl in space one day. I promise you. Contest. Have you ever seen a girl rocket scientist? No. Have you ever seen a girl astronaut? No, and you never will. Girls in space don't mix.
why space is man's destiny. We have conquered mountains and oceans, and now our place is in space. Thank you, Wayne. Nice rhyming. Mary Ellen, you're up. Proudly presenting Astro Girl and the Search for the Brightest Star in the Galaxy. Astro Girl was born here on Earth, but with the passion to explore outer space. People told her a girl could never be a space explorer, but one day, while looking through her telescope, she saw something she couldn't believe. Mrs. Humphrey? Ma'am, she is cheating. This is an essay contest, and a comic book is not an essay. May I see your comic book, Mary Ellen? Sure, just remember that artwork is just as important as the story. I'm afraid Wayne may have a point. This is an essay contest after all. But I worked really hard in it. I'm sorry, Mary Ellen. Why don't you have a seat and I will discuss this with Principal Carey after school. All right, who is next? Jimmy? Thank you for waiting, Mary Ellen. Am I in trouble? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I spoke to Principal Carey, and I'm afraid we won't be able to let you enter the contest. This comic book, while impressive, is not an essay. It wouldn't be fair to the other students. I worked really hard in the comic. It's about the wonder of space, honestly, and how space inspires us to do things that no one else has done. Mary Ellen, I know this contest was important to you, but you didn't follow the rules. It's that simple. Did they pick a winner? Yes, Johnny from Mr. Dale's class will be interviewing Dr. Teller. Boys get to do everything. Mary Ellen, your work in science class this year has been just wonderful. I'm sure when you get to high school, you'll do very well in physics. And you know, learning physics is the first step to becoming a rocket scientist. Mrs. Humphrey, did you see a super bright star the other night? I've been trying and trying to find out what the star is called, but I haven't had any luck so far. I'm afraid I must have missed it. It was so beautiful, but scary too, so far away like that. I imagined a girl so fearless, she could do what no one's ever done before and travel all the way to that star. I guess Astro Girl will just have to fly another day, though. <sighs> Ellie, what are you doing out here? Mom needs to fit you for your Tin Man costume. I'm not sure if I want to be the Tin Man anymore. Mary Ellen Larkin. You promised. I'm sorry. I'm not in a very Halloween mood. I was disqualified from the essay contest because of my Astro Girl comic. Wayne the Pain said girls in space don't mix. Maybe she's right. I've never heard of a woman rocket scientist or astronaut. Have you? I guess not. I thought that if I was on TV interviewing Dr. Teller, no one would ever say girls in space don't mix ever again. Now I'll just be another face in the crowd at the assembly tomorrow. Look, I know this contest was important to you, but I'm sure you'll find a way to shine. You always do. And one day, people are gonna be lining up to interview you, the first girl in outer space. That's it. What's it? The fearless girl who shines the brightest. The girl who does what no one has done before. No one, not even a TV camera, could ignore her. You mean Astro Girl? Even better, me. Come on, I've got an idea. Have you seen Mary Ellen? I know she'd hate to miss her son. Mary Ellen, it's not Halloween yet. 
The name's Astro Girl, and there's no one else like me in any galaxy. What do you think you're doing, Mary Ellen? I'm Astro Girl today. There's no way you're gonna win that. Mary Ellen, with Wayne, come with me. Now. <laughs> Mary Ellen. Wayne. Mrs. Humphrey and I have decided to change the format of today's discussion with Dr. Teller. Instead of Johnny asking all of the questions, we have decided to let a few students each ask one question. It seemed only fair to let more of our students shine. Quite right. So, shall we go and meet those other students? Oh, and Mary Ellen, if you would please leave your spaceship parked outside. Hmm? Mary Ellen, I just wanted to say that that comic book that you made was swell. You know, I love comic books. I know. All right, children, we're ready for you. Right this way. Come quick, everybody, it's on, it's on! Oh, goody. Yeah. Welcome to our school, Dr. Teller. Thank you, miss. Interesting getup you've got there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My question is about a special star. A few nights ago, I noticed an especially bright star, and I was wondering if you could tell me the name of it. Do you happen to remember any distinguishing features? Oh, what about the location in the sky? Well, I remember it was kind of orange-colored and very big and bright. I see. I tell you what. What you saw was no orange star. It was a red planet. The red planet. Mars. Astro girl, ready to be the first girl in outer space? Well, maybe. Maybe? Astro girl's a true star now. I'll go to space one day, but right now, I wouldn't want to be so far away from the people I love. Sorry I didn't want to be the Tin Man. I just love being Astro girl. She makes me feel so brave. Everyone's talking about your big TV interview. Yeah, ready for the parade? Ready for blast off. Woo! 